I'm Pam Sutherland from True Star Talent, and I'm here with the most amazingly talented David Pike. This is all about you, David. Hello. Hi, Pam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, we'll jump right in and we'll sort of have a look at your industry experience. Can you tell me a bit about that, please? Yeah, my uh, industry experience is mainly sort of from the banking world. Um, mainly 20 years with Lloyds Bank. Um, I started off as a financial consultant. Uh, within the first year, I was uh, fifth in the country from a standing start. I then went on to become an area development consultant. And again, within six months, I was second in the country from standing start. From there, I moved on to become a um, field manager, where I managed two very successful teams. When I eventually left the bank, I thought to myself, what do I want to do? You know, so what skills have I gained from the bank that I can um, use? So thinking about it, the natural thing was to move into... Um, recruitment. So I started off with a company called um, PIR, who we were based in Bournemouth. I had uh, two very successful years with them before moving on to Viridian. From Viridian, um, I then moved on to Integrity. And then from Integrity, I moved on to um, uh, True Star Talent. Okay, and why did you choose to do what you do? What was it? What, what what drove you to that? I think really I like helping people. And um, that was the thing when I was recruiting within, within Noise Bank. Um, I used to recruit people in, into my team. And I had a team who was like well known for being um, stable. And once I recruited somebody, nobody left. And that really is the basis whereby I take this into recruitment today. When I recruit somebody, I like to think that they're taking on a job for life. So that they, can, they can then progress within that chosen career. And I'm glad to say that I have got a number of people who have actually done that. And when we speak, you know, sort of occasionally, they always sort of say, is it seven years ago you actually recruited me? I can't believe it. And, you know, that to me is that I've done the job right. And that to me is really important. That's good to hear. And what do you think makes you love what you do? I think really a challenge more than anything. Um, no two days are the same. Um, I think also the variety of jobs that you get. You could be recruited for an administrator in sort of one day the next day you could be recruiting for an md and in between that you've got financial consultants power planners you know that variety gives you what you're looking for and if you think about in terms of your own values what is it that you really care about i really care about doing the job well being seen to do it well and uh help people with their problems more than anything. Um, the number of times I've recruited people who have felt that they would never get the job they eventually got because there may be sort of something which, uh, a qualification which they might have had or there's something they've been told by another uh, recruitment agency that you need this qualification in order to do that job. No, I take each person on their merits. And if I feel that that person is right, I will back them 100% and we'll do our best to get the job for them. I'm moving slightly on here then. So just because there's just going to be some people that are going to be wondering a little bit about you, the person. Can you tell me something of, maybe from outside of work that people either don't know or would be surprised to hear about you? Yeah, for the past um, 40 years, I've been breeding and showing our setters, um, which I really enjoy. I must have had 40 years. Um, also, I judge them. I'm a member of Kennel Club, and also I've been a, a member of a number of uh, committees. And uh, for my sins, I'm a treasurer of the one of the breed clubs of the UK. So uh, 
that is my sort of uh, mystery. <laughs> ah, and did I hear something about you going to Crofts as well? Yes, uh, one year I got the um, reserve best dog at Crofts. Congratulations. Yes, I was very pleased with that. So that pretty much covers what we want to cover today. Is there anything that you'd like to add? Not really. I think, you know, sort of we've covered off um, the main things I sort of um, look to achieve from my job. And um, it's really just sort of meet people and build up from there. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.